Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Dungeon Born. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and NVIDIA panel. And after that, we're going to go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is Game Bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processor. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power. Uh, back then, uh, we were recommending to use the best performance, but now, honestly, just use balance. You will have better boost clock, longer boost clock. Uh, I did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance, and honestly, I'm getting better result with balance. So super important to do that. Another thing uh, I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS. Super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also, make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's 4 gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radeon driver if you have a Radeon car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So just be before going inside of the game, I recommend to use a, a software called the LSS Swapper. As you can see right now, the dungeon board is using 3.7.0. It's not the latest version of the LSS, so you just take the latest one. I have a video, we'll show you how to do that if you need to download those DLSS version, but honestly, it's pretty easy. 
you just press swap and now you have the latest version from nvidia and in the, in the future they're gonna release more uh the lss version so you just update your game like this and you're gonna make sure that you have the latest version so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game so display mode i really recommend to go with full screen less input lag better fps resolution make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor in my case, it's 1440p. Don't lower your resolution. Honestly, the game will look too blurry. You can have some upscaling technique that I'm going to talk a little bit later that will give you FPS for that. Vertical Sync, I deactivated. I don't want any input lag when I'm playing. You can also use G-Sync, Free Sync if it's available to you. Camera sway while moving, I deactivate this. Too much noise when I'm playing. Frame rate, I go with the max 360. Honestly, I just want the lowest input lag. But honestly, if you have issue with thermals, like you're, for an example, you're playing on a laptop with a 60 Hertz monitor with bad thermal, just lock your FPS at 60. Uh, you will have more problem than input lag, honestly, if you have thermal issue. Field of view, I play at 100, honestly. I'm going to give you a lot of like recommendation for the parameter, but it really depends what is your goal and what is your computer and what is your monitor also, how many FPS that you want. So feel of view, if you're struggling to have your 60 FPS after the old guide, just honestly, just like lower it at 90, something like that. It will help a little bit with your FPS. After that, 3D resolution, I'm going to talk a little bit later about it. Uh, global illumination, I recommend to go with medium. You can have a nice 5% uh, boost over there. Don't go high and very high. You will activate some kind of like ray tracing. And if you're going high or higher than that, and you will tank a lot your FPS with those one. Shadow, I recommend to go with medium. A nice 8% boost. Honestly, off is pretty good you will gain a lot of fps but the thing is sometimes you need to see your the shadow of your enemy when they are like across a wall something like that so i don't like to remove completely shadow in a pvp game anti-aliasing just deactivate it too blurry when you add it and honestly if you're using upscaling technique uh it will not be applied view distance i recommend medium or high if you're not struggling to run the game definitely go high with this one to see uh, a little bit further in front of you. Texture, if you have 8 gig and more of VRAM, go with very high, 6 gig high, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig, go with low. Effect, reflection, and post-processing, honestly, those one, everything at low, you're gonna gain 12% in your FPS. More Majority of it will be effect and reflection. They're tanking a lot your FPS, honestly. And post-processing, the game is too blurry when you're using medium, high, or very high, so that's why I recommend to go with low. After that, you have this super sampling mode. This one is really weird. Normally, when you select performance, it will adapt your 3D resolution over there automatically. But now you need to change it by yourself. So normally, what I recommend, the LSS quality. And quality normally is 66.7%. So I recommend to go with 67% in your 3D resolution. Pretty much the same thing if you, have, you don't have an RTX card. By the way, if you have an RTX card, prioritize the LSS always. Uh, go with uh, FSR if you have, like, for example, pull a Radiant car. Go with quality and pretty much the same thing. Put it at 67. And same thing with XESS from Intel. After that, sharpness. It's a question of preference. It's if you feel that your game looks too much like an Instagram post, it's probably because your sharpness is too high. And if your game is too blurry, it's probably because it's too low. So just adapt it. Advanced model and shadow rendering. I recommend to go with off. This one also tank your FPS a lot. So just deactivate it. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, the best setting for Dungeon Born. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.